Bureau of Work and your exchange. Hello. I'm nervous. <laughs> <laughs> but I have this jacket, so I think. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Felipe. I come from Spain, from the south of Spain, from Seville. And I work in a small organization of cultural activists. Uh, I would like to thank the foundation for this opportunity. It has been a, a really amazing exchange, and I met a lot of amazing people. And especially to Melinda and Paloma, I think they are doing a, a great job, so thank you so much. Um, I love stories, so I'm going to tell you a short story instead of for telling uh, you about my, my, my work. Uh, we had a meeting in April to, to prepare this exchange, and we were having a discussion uh, about the role of art as a democratic practice. And right now in Europe and in Spain, we, we have many problems, but especially the so-called refugee crisis. So I was telling to them that uh, it's hard for artists and cultural workers uh, to foster uh, spaces for deliberation, because what they are doing is advocating for one option. So, so they are defending some ideas, so, so holding a flag and, and having a political position. So uh, as a provocation, I, I told them, listen, would you like to have a conversation with Donald Trump when he's saying that we need to build a wall between Mexico and the United States? And Joanny from the foundation told me, well, maybe that conversation is impossible to, to have it, but we should understand why the people is supporting him. What mm -hmm. are the feelings they have? So I went to the hotel really, you know, uh, full of contradictions and, and doubts, and I text um, Leo from Brazil, one of my fellows, and I said, listen, I, I need to go to the jacuzzi to disconnect. <laughs> <laughs> so we went to the jacuzzi, and when we arrived, there were two men, and the jacuzzi is a tiny place. <laughs> so we went into the jacuzzi, and, you know, imagine the situation, four men, half naked. <laughs> so after a while, uh, they asked us, hey guys, what are you doing here? And we said, well, we are discussing about deliberative democracy. <laughs> <laughs> Their faces were like, okay, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> but then uh, we adopted the role of researchers and we started making questions to them and we found out that they were uh, Donald Trump supporters. <laughs> so they started explaining that they were supporting Donald Trump because he was proposing something concrete, like the wall. <coughs> And, and, and you know, after after a while, they, they I think they discovered that we were different. We were not showing our ideas, but it was clear that the, our silence was showing something. <laughs> so one of the, the the guys, the younger, said, "Listen, I know we are different, but uh, one of my favorite YouTubers is uh, an engineer. He's conservative, and he went to a meeting with Obama because he's a famous YouTuber. And after that uh, meeting with Obama, he uploaded a video." saying that uh, he realized that even if he disagreed a lot, many things with Obama, the conversation was an opportunity to discover that we have things in common. Uh, so uh, this has two lessons learned for me. The first one is that we need to figure out how we are going to live together, even if we have a lot of differences. And the second one is that if you need a space for deliberation, the jacuzzi works. <laughs>